Steam sale season is active on the Steam page for the next two weeks from December 22nd, 22nd to the end of January 2nd. Uh, we're having a Steam sale, so just like every other past Steam sales for a past few years, what you see is what you get in terms of sales. But I remember I want to do one disclaimer. Remember, you save more money by not spending money. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the, like, the, we're just going to talk about the highlights and what I thought. Um, I'm just doing one of these because sales are all the things. Um, if you have any questions or, you know, have any recommendations for games, you know, say something in the chat. Anyways, first time this time, we're doing, there's also a Steam Award. So, for the next, over the next few weeks, they're also, earlier Thanksgiving, they had, hey, uh, let's do some rewards. Um, you know, villain that most needs a hug. So we're just gonna we're we're gonna vote for that. These are dailies, and of course you probably can get some badges, which is some bullshit that I don't like. Um, all these Steam awards that don't really mean anything. So like you know, thought this game was cool before it, it won awards. So Starbound, your truck simulator, two, Unturned, Stardew Valley, Paladins, Test the Time. Um, come by the just five more minutes. It's really weird that uh. Civ 6 is here, but not... And Civ 5's here, so... Very interesting. Anyways, um... So the villain that must need a hug. It's... Uh, it's a really interesting one. Um, Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4 both had amazing villains. Um, I played... I played all these games except for Dead by Daylight. <sighs> Handsome Jack and um, Borderlands 2 wasn't that interesting in Portal 2. You know, whatever. Uh, it was really just a puzzle game. I'm, I'm gonna go with, um... Far Cry 3, as you kind of actually, if you play your cards right, um, you find out what happens at the, uh, with, uh, the villain in Far Cry 4. It was you the whole time. Spoilers. Anyways, back into games that are really actually cool. The Division is actually kind of decent. Um, right now it's at 25 bucks. I got some footage of that. They've done some tons of changes. I spent a good 70 hours in that game. I haven't gone back to it lately, and they've done a lot of changes. I... A friend of mine said that the survival mode is actually really interesting, which is out on PS4 now, too. Farming Simulator 17 is actually supposed to be really good, too. Sadly, it probably should... These Farming Simulator games and, and uh, Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, all should probably have, um, like, multiplayer. Um, you know, Civ, again, if you don't want to talk to your family this summer, this um, winter or ever, I'll... Check out the Civ game, Civ 5. The complete edition is um, pretty cheap right now. Again, this is because I have some of the bundles, but like this is all of the Civ, um, along with Civ 6, which is $53. Uh, Maybe pass on Beyond Earth. Beyond Earth is supposedly pretty shitty. Um, we got an anthology. Is this all of them? That's cool. Uh, Civ 4 is, is a decent... Um, you're Better off just buying Civ Complete um, for a more complete thing. And it goes all the way, all the way to Civ 3, you know, if you want to dive back into the uh, early days of PC gaming. Of course, always, these are all going to change. Um, Baldur's Gate 2 is a little bit of a, kind of a, it's the Enhanced Edition. This is a weird hop-down RPG. Um, we released, if you, if you like this, you'll probably also like Tyranny. Uh, all these uh, very classic D&D uh, games. Um... You guys should you could check that out. I don't. Have, I'm, I'm not a big fan. This also does support multiplayer, but it's 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 pretty heavy duty. Project Cars, um, probably one of the worst. The problem I had with PC is they're really not really good PC racing games. Um, luckily, Forza Horizon, um, and uh, Motorsports Apex are here, and so you get some good games. You might want to pass on this um, unless you're really into racing games. Um, Just Cause is what the hell? That's that's interesting. That's a nice. Uh, Just Cause is a great franchise. Um, they're really shitty games, like they're like kind of shitty, uh, but they're actually really fun. Um, just to fuck around, especially with um, Just Cause Three. They added a bunch of shit with the DLC. Like they added like you could fly and all that stuff. Uh, um, Just Cause Two is also there's multiplayer. That's um, pretty good. This is a good. Eh, it's it's a product of its time and just just cause uh, again another product of the time. But it was some really amazing shit back in the day. Um, 
Doom franchise. Um, I mean, you can't beat Doom. I guess this Doom Doom is like amazing. I haven't played it, but I've heard rave reviews of there. It's it's up there with maybe the best shooter in a long time up there with Titanfall 2. So this year uh, it's been really good. Uh, Bethesda and it are nailing it. Well, not, it didn't do Wolfenstein, but Wolfenstein again. That's probably going to be on sale. That's another great shooter. Total War, a lot of good shooters, a lot of good strategies here. Personally, my opinion, I loved um, Empire Total War, uh, but yeah, I I guess Total Hammer is pretty good. Attila's decent. All these um, all these just, just tons of these, tons of these. Um, they also got some other stuff. Uh, the Witcher, I, I would really, I really like. Uh, Blaze Blue is a really good fighting game. Black Mesa, I think this is a fucking joke. I can't believe they're selling this. This is literally, I think, a a mod. It, it's it's a mod for Half Life One. I actually find this very alarming that they're selling this in. Whatever. Grim Fandango is actually really interesting, but not that fun. It's a product of its time. It's if you've ever played it before. It's fine. It's great to go back and relive that stuff again. Uh, they have uh, two different visuals. This is uh, they have the old um, they have the old like '90s era visuals, and then they have a more updated visuals. And it's just it's a pretty interesting story. But again, it is really hard. Um, Space Engineers, I think, is actually really dumb. Um, Universal Sandbox is a really interesting game. This is a sequel. Um, this is a Kind of a sandbox game where you just like doing shit in space. Um, again, Castle Lord of Shadows. You can probably just forget that. Recommended for me. Yeah, Terra Tech. Yeah, fuck that. Inside is supposed to be very interesting. It's it's pretty heart pulling. I've heard. Um, a couple other shitty games. Oh, that's interesting. This game's not even on sale. That's pretty crazy. Um, Outcast, a really old game. Here's some old games. They've also redone the whole uh, Steam store yet again, and I. I think it's shitty because look at all this empty space. Look at all this empty space. Um, so they're trying to curate more towards you. Um, so we're, we're, we're going to keep on rolling down here. We got Deus Ex Man Can. It's supposed to be pretty good. If you've played the last one, you probably like this one. Eshenir, um, a new game that just came out. Um, we got Vermintide, uh, Left 4 Dead with, um, with uh, what do you call it? With, um, with uh, from what I've heard, Weapons. Planet Coaster, this is supposed to be the coaster uh, park simulator that you're supposed to like. You know, of course, Grand Theft Auto, um, Total War, all these. Resident Evil is doing a franchise. Room World's supposed to be... Well, it's not on sale. That's just interesting. Um, of course, CSGO. I'm not a fan of uh, Shanty and the half genie, genie hero. So this is supposed to be like a really interesting... Um, really interesting platformer but like i'm not a fan of the art style the art style is like 2d characters out of 3d uh play, 3d world so like the this is all 3d but the characters are all 2d and, and they released a teaser trailer a couple of months ago and it looked like shit look these look better now but um i don't know the there, there's more of these from way forward they've done a couple of these like the pirate curse um which actually looks really cool I like i'm liking the the you know the little bit of pixely art style but it kind of does look like a shitty game um and then the uh, revenge of the um risky's revenge which again looks really weird like i don't understand the really sharp visuals here but then like it's kind of like p pixelated here um but yeah it, it's oh yeah fez is really good um, looks like they're doing some hardware on um, some hardware steam link steam link uh, definitely want to try that out on wired as the wireless stuff is uh, pretty janky and the steam controller is a joke as they finally announced that the support for the dualshock 4 i haven't tried that um maybe i should try that there a couple other games shovel knight supposed to be a really good platformer it actually has the free expansion back and they've announced a prequel for that game which is really cool um rogue legacy a nice little fun platform game um that's another flat pa platformer game that's pretty fun um which are isaac um, Rebirth is supposed to, is, it's a really cool dungeon crawler, uh, roguelike, um, tons of good games. I mean, there's tons of games. The game, the, the, um, the, oh, Eve Al Valkyrie is, holy shit, this is a, uh, VR game at, uh, 60 bucks, and that's how I'm going for 40 bucks. Anyways, um, what I like to do, 
is enough about talking about which game's good. Uh, oh, Masters of Orion is actually kind of good, too. Um, the thing is, remember, you got till the second. You got till the second. And with that, let's see here. That's, um, yeah, that's, that's this. So the sales will end on, um, Sunday or, um, Monday morning. So you got till then. Um, so what you do is you just, you know, look for a game. It's like, you know what? This game looks interesting. I'm going to add it to my wish list. And you, you think about it. This is, this is, you don't do impulse buys. That's how you, like, take your money and, like, regret it. Um, so, like, you know, obviously you're across a pretty shitty driving game, but a lot of people like it. I, I thought this game was so generic. I actually refunded this game. Um, I, I don't like refunding games. But, yeah, it's, um... Put a game on your wish list. Come back every other day. Just think about it. Look up some foot. Look up some reviews on stuff. Read some reviews. Like this game is really well received, but this is literally just a sandbox game. Like you, there's no like, you just go to places and you build stuff. And it's just really, I don't know. It's it's kind of like No Man's Sky, in a way. But you know, it it might not have the polish, and it's in. Also, it's been in early access for over three years, so maybe that's your, uh, maybe that's a sign. Um, anyways, I hope you really like this video. I like doing these. You guys, a lot of you guys that like watching this, um, here's Long Dark, a survival game. This has also been, oh God, early access. Again, watch out for early access stuff too, guys. Um, some stuff has been done pretty good, like, um, like Subnautica. Um, very few games actually exit out of um, early access. Um, Starbound was like in early access for like four years before it finally came out. Uh, but it's still getting um, patches. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, at Kibosh67. And just say something in the comments. I do have tons of videos on, on a lot of these games. Um, so, yeah. I think I... Yeah, I, I have like uh, footage on Grid and... And I think a Black Mesa, but it, like this was a mod. This was a free mod, and then now you now it's a twenty dollar game. Like really, I mean it's not one to one, but it's like it's a, literally the events of Half Life uh, retold. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.